Set for football now at AT&T Stadium. Brandon Aubrey has the honors, and we are underway here in Arlington. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. The commander's set to go to work on offense, and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod for commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year. A nice bump for last year's fifth round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Howell first play, gonna throw it. And incomplete to open things up. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now the second year man from Alabama, it's Brian Robinson. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it. Thank you. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now he'll look to throw it. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. So the Cowboys ready to go on offense for the first time, and it is their now 30-year-old quarterback, Dak Prescott, who leads the way. Prescott has some things to clean up from last season, leading the NFL with 15 interceptions and only 12 games played. But we can't overlook the good. 23 touchdowns and an 8-4 record as a starter as he led the Cowboys to consecutive postseasons for the first time since 2007. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard, taken down at the 30. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Prescott now on second down. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A Cowboy first down there. Prescott to Gallup. They're going to look to throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Third down and one. Six. Prescott now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, only their first drive, Charles, but they talked to us about needing to convert on third down, in particular not letting third and short opportunities slip through their fingers. Well, they were successful right there. It also tells you that they're successful on first and second down as well to get to third and manageable and make them able to pick up those first downs. Now here we are, first and goal. They've got to like what they're doing on this drive. 
A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Defense really sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? To throw is Prescott. And it's caught. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get away from him flinging it because four for four already, I think he's got a good chance of picking this one up here on third down. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Can this defense hold them out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They'll run for it with Pollard. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from two yards out. And the Cowboys use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and goal, and they punch it in for the touchdown. We always talk about how football is a game of confidence, and that's how you get it right there. Leave your offense out there and tell them I believe in you. And they pay it off with six points. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Pringle going to stay in the end zone, and this will come out to the 25. The commander is going to retake the field for drive number two. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. They begin the drive with Robinson. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal... Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 43. Al now to throw it. Thomas brings it in. Touchdown, Washington! Logan Thomas, 43 yards. And the Commanders are an extra point away from drawing level. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that.
And Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Prescott on first down. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So just three yards on the completion there, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Prescott. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out. But his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. Prescott now from the 50. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Second down, Prescott. That is caught by Lamb. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 19. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Oh, Prescott stripped. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. Hey. 
after the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second in a country mile. Here's Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. On third down, it's Prescott, and that is incomplete. Strong coverage by Washington, and now fourth down. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And this one is right through. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And here we go on the next drive for Washington. Howell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Al throwing on first down here. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. Howell's throw into the hands of Turner. Just a gain of a couple there. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here comes third and about a foot. That is caught. And he's going to have a commander's first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. They gave him the option there on third and short. Runner pass, you choose. And he decided to fling it out to the perimeter. And that was the right call as they pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing here, Howell. That's going to be caught by Samuel. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it'll be second down. Another throw for Howell. It returns it right back to Samuel. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 19. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Back to throw, Howell. Toward the end 
zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun, it's Howell. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their play flip and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Hal. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Sly able to put this one through. And that will knot us up at 10. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, and I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Dallas offense set for this next drive. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Gets around him. Evades the tackler and now some space. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. All tied up at 10, two minutes left in the first half. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move them all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one. They were just unable to complete the pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Prescott to throw it. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. First down now, but that clock rolling. On play action, Prescott. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. So first and 10 now from the 30. And again, it's Prescott. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. A second down throw for Prescott. 
He finds his man, Pollard. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. He hit his first, this one from 40 yards out. And his kick is indeed good. And they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So chalk that down as an eight play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Washington going to go on offense now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. They'll throw on first down. Here's Howell. Sets up the screen to Robinson. Room past the 35. And he'll take this all the way up to the 38-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now how? This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now Washington going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. It's Howell with another throw. Target is to Dotson, and he's got him. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 11 yards there, just like last play. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Man, that is deflating going into the break. You're in a position with a chance to tie the game, 
But this kick is off the mark, and they're going to remain three points down heading into the break. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. One second, all that remains. Final play of the half, Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've hit halftime. Just a, few. a happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Oh, some strong running. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it and try and win this ball game. It'll go as a gain of four, and that's going to bring up second down. Prescott from the gun. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. Seven yards there and a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. Pollard will take it up the gun. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down and eight. Prescott now. They'll drop this underneath to Pollard, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To throw is Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. But plain and simple. That's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to, and maybe his rhythm is confused. just off? He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Throwing again. Prescott on second and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Ferguson. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. 
And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. From the two now, second and goal. Pollard will take this into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. And just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Aubrey now for the point after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From his end zone is Byron Pringle. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. First possession of the second half now for Washington. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge at opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. Well, the play fake, and now here's Hal to throw it. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So stranger things have happened. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now he'll look to throw it. Throwing it Terry McLaurin's way again, and he's got it. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that could really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Throwing here, Howell. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Al down to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And Howe will throw it. Here's a screen for Robinson. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Eight yards on the screen there, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. 
Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. He's got his target. That's complete. Yeah, this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down and an exhale there as they convert on fourth. Well, the field goal attempt was well in hand. They had that, but they decided to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Al throwing on first down here. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Howell. Looking and finding Thomas in the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Logan Thomas, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Commanders are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and the lead is down to a field goal. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and eight. Going to run again here with Pollard. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry, and they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. They'll get this up to about the 44. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. 
Prescott to throw it. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. So give him two yards there on the completion. And it's third and four now. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Third and short yardage. Prescott going right back to Ferguson. And he will have a Cowboys first down, at least at first glance, as he'll spot the football just beyond the marker. They find a way to convert on third and inches. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. They run straight ahead here with Pollard, and he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. 49 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Gets by him at the 25. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He has just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. On second down, Prescott again. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. They'll run with Pollard. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding them to a short gain. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Now Prescott. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Let's go back over Dak Prescott's career. Six rushing touchdowns in each of his first three years, but only one in each of the last two seasons. As a veteran, he's become much more judicious about when it's time to take the ball and go for the end zone. 
Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From the end zone, here's Pringle. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. So many offenses want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Hal. And that is incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. Slings this deep from McLaurin. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception. But playing this way is what got him this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Still fighting for more. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. It'll be a handoff to Pollard, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. C.D. Lamb is intended target. Third down here. Go, go, Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, it's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Cowboys are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. 
Going for the knockout punch. They'll try and run. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Let's go do this thing, baby. Go, yeah, go right now. Pollard one more time. The commander's going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run with Pollard. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And now Washington going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the right hash here should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously. Powell to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. They'll try again here, second and ten. Here's Howell. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure. With under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Howell out of the shotgun. And Dotson, he's got it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Well, there's still hope, but it's dwindling fast. No timeouts left. They need two scores still. First and ten here. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. Still going inside the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. This has just really been a solid second half from them, CD, as they add another touchdown to the lead and they start to pull away in what was once a close ball game. Yeah, they actually put the Jets on in this one, didn't they? Put a little cherry on top with that touchdown. Now he's got to play out this final minute, and they'll get a chance to celebrate a very hard-earned victory. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. And there's a quick momentum swing. INT return for a pick six, and then the two-point conversion good. And even if you're keeping your wits about you, you're thinking to yourself, okay, extra point block team go. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up.